Christmas weekend is here, but for a lot of families this year will feel a lot different. Good evening, I'm Levi Ismail. Communities across Tennessee and Kentucky are still recovering from devastating tornadoes from two weeks ago. Today, First, Later doc First Lady Dr. Joe Biden stopped by at Fort Campbell to meet with dozens of military families affected. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell has more from Fort Campbell. 68 military families are still displaced after that devastating tornado and the first lady of the United States. She wanted to come here and meet with those families one by one to let them know they're not alone this holiday season. When that EF3 tornado ripped through the Clarksville community, it took lives, damaged hundreds of homes, including the Kuros family home. Kenzo, Chloe and Leo. Major Kevin like Kuros with the 101st today. Airborne Division says his family was just getting home from taking pictures with Santa when the tornado came barreling through. We quickly sheltered into our laundry room and within seconds the tornado devastated our home and neighborhood. The devastation is why First Lady Dr. Joe Biden wanted to fly into Fort Campbell to bring a little joy and hope to the families affected. The last two weeks have really tested your strength. But even in this moment of grief and heartbreak, there is so much love and support that surrounds you. Flotis met with every family member, even the little ones who may have just wanted to hang with her good friend, St. Nick. I can see the kids don't want to hear me. They, you know, they want to see Santa. Flotis says it's tough sometimes for people in the military to ask for help because they're usually the ones to answer the call. On behalf of the president and Americans everywhere, you are in our hearts and we are so grateful for your service. Adding it was important to the Biden family to make sure kids had gifts and for families like the Kuros to know they're loved and they will bounce back. The path to recovery has been challenging, but my family received overwhelming support from our family, friends, and the Screaming Eagles community. In Fort Campbell, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. Thank you, Aaron. Now, the toys we just saw were all donated by Toys for Tots. Families displaced by the tornado are receiving help from FEMA and the American Red Cross.